I guess I maybe started playing in bands, and maybe all of us just started kind of just messing around with guys in high school. But it was never anything too serious. It was always kind of about playing the songs that we loved rather than like writing music. I went to a show when I was in college, out here actually in California, and I can't remember what it was or who I was talking to, but I asked a guy in one of the bands, I was like, how do you do this, you know? He said, just write, write good songs. And I was like, all right. I've sung my whole life, and I knew I wanted to sing, and I knew I, that I could. I remember listening to Michael Jackson songs, and it just kind of blows your mind. And just kind of like, all right, I want to do that, you know? But I could never dance. I'm an awful, I'm an awful dancer. <laughs> the song is called Don't Want to Die Anymore. And we demoed the song at a cabin that we record at up north of Seattle. I sang the song once. We, we uh, recorded, like, the water trickling in the lake and, like, put that on the in the song and the vocal on the demo is what ended up on the record. We just kept it because it was kind of, it was just a cool moment. There's a Bob Dylan record that's, it's like a soundtrack for Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid movie, I think that's what it is. I was listening to that a ton and I think that's kind of where a lot of the, the mood came from it. But it's basically the verse kind of goes from G to the C. Play that lead line too. And then the lead line. Um, I mean, a lot of that stuff is like totally taken from that Bob Dylan song. <laughs> <laughs> Chorus just goes. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. <laughs> There's no, there's no bridge in the song. Yeah. There's a lot of like, kind of hammer on, hammer on stuff. I like writing pop songs, like three minutes, 30 seconds, four minutes, whatever, and trying to say something good or something mildly profound, like with simple language. We're just like five idiots trying to play some songs and make a buck. Having the, the songs be your voice is really cool and you can kind of say as much as you want to say. Being a rock star starts on your couch in your underwear with your acoustic guitar <laughs> trying to write a cool song, <laughs> you know. Well, I don't want to die anymore I don't want the Lord to call me home well, I've got this feeling he ain't done with me yet So I'll sit right here and place my bed Such a simple song, but like it was, the demo was just kind of like there and it was awesome, but then trying to recreate it in a studio was really hard. We're at the cabin, it was like lazy and... A couple of years know. in, like everything sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, or, you know, to you. Sometimes when you're recording, you just gotta like keep doing it until it feels in the pocket and feels right. And I think we just did a hundred takes and got it. It's a hard road, it takes me to my home. I don't know how much farther I can go. But if I hang on, for I know the road is long. Yes, I can teach the world to sing my song. I don't want to get by anymore I'm not obsessed with like 
being like a super honest, personal songwriter or whatever. But um, I kind of wanted to write something that maybe was a little bit more personal. This might be a little bit strange, but like sometimes people of faith, which our band certainly is, are kind of the I want out of here vibe, you know, or like mentality. Like, you know, Lord, call me home. Take, take me away from this awful place. Reacting to that, uh, that a little bit and saying, you know, I don't want to die, you know. I think there's heaven to be had on earth, you know, uh, and very good things to stick around for. I thought it was just about touring and wanting to go home. Well, it's a hard road It takes me to my home I don't know how much farther I can go Yes, I can teach the world to sing my song.